Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at... Well, you can't tell from here, but this is Sammy Smith's 2023 Phoenix race win. His only race win of the year, his first career race win, and his only win with Joe Gibbs Racing before he moves over to Junior Motorsports in 2024. So, kind of a bunch of fun stuff to look at, but let's go ahead and dive right in. We've got the 2023 race winning box. We've got the purple Xfinity logo and the purple wind sticker. There you see a render of the car there on the front, along with the standard finish. And then, of course, I don't have anything in it because the car is going to be reviewed. Uh, one of 504. Ooh, 504. This is a low production number. This might be a rare car later on, so... Um, yeah, just going to point that out. If you're looking for one, I would I would snag one. That's a small number. Uh, we got standard finish. We got the purple sticker there as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Does come with a few cards and inserts, or I should say a card and an insert. Comes with a uh, race wins card here, the stat card. United Reynolds 200 winner, March 11th, 2023 in Avondale, Arizona. Moving around to the back here, we've got uh, 11th on the day is where he started. 200 total laps. 11 cautions for 69 laps. Goodness gracious. Led 92 laps and won by 0.6 seconds. Uh, we also have the new and improved uh, Xfinity race win sticker. The purple with the 75th anniversary logo in it, and then the three NASCAR colors behind it, which I think is cool. Which, by the way, can we just point out how Xfinity and Trucks and Cup all happened to line up perfectly last year, where the yellow was Cup, the red was Xfinity, and the blue was Truck? Like, that was actually perfect. And now that's yellow, purple, and red, technically. And if NASCAR wanted to switch it to that, I'm totally okay with it, but I'm just throwing it out there. That was perfect. So, anyway... Um, Let's go ahead now and look at this uh, car, because it's a good one. I really like the way this turned out, and I'm definitely keeping one of these in my collection. So, uh, weird thing I'll say is, first off the bat, it does have a windshield wiper. Um, I'm glad they finally took that off and said, we're only having windshield wipers on rainy days. We'll have you install them. I'm glad they were like, yeah, we don't need windshield wipers on every short track. That's dumb. They do still have the stupid um, uh, rain flaps on the back, which I, again, don't understand, because they could easily held those in with a pin. Um, so it is what it is. I don't really understand it, but anyway, um, as we look at it here though, from the left to right, you can see we got our big number 18 here. We got pilot and flying J. You guys might remember that from the Michael Annette cars. These guys, Michael Annette and him are from the same area. Uh, he is from, I believe Altoona, Iowa. Uh, Brett Moffat's from Grimes. That's only about, I don't know. 45 minutes from each other. Um, Landon Castle, Cedar Rapids, Joey Gay, Cedar Rapids. So just throw, throwing out the Iowa guys real quick. Um, but you can see here, we got the Xfinity logo. We got the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo. Uh, here on the front, we do have a little bit of... Um a little bit of dirt here on the front of the car. You can see the nose with a little bit of rubber build up there. Um, we got Pilot and Flying J there on the hood. We also got Toyota Super there on the nose. And then you can see a little bit of dirt here on that right front as well. It uh, looks like the grill's pretty taped up. You can see it there on that right side, or on the left side there. A couple angled pieces of tape. Uh, we got our yellow number 18 on the roof there. We got the Xfinity Series banner in purple. Hate that, always have. Uh, we got Smith, and then you can see the little bit of extra for the sun visor. Uh, like I said, Pilot and Flying J were longtime sponsors of JRM. They're going back to JRM next year, so not real surprising. TMC, um, that's another uh, sponsor for kind of a partnership with um, Sammy Smith, Michael Annette. You'll see them on the same cars a lot. So uh, ethanol ring there. We can see a little bit of fuel spillage there that kind of seeped to the back. As we go to the rear of the car, we got our bright yellow rookie stripes here. Pilot Flying J Supra. Pilot and Flying J there. DIN number is 121. We got Smith on the rear window as well. Moving it over to the right side. No right side window as it is a short track. And then you can see a little bit of rubber buildup on that right side. Not too bad. Um, got a little bit of stuff around the right rear. That's from the burnout. And then you actually have some around the uh, tailpipes uh, where it kind of burned through the wrap or the paint or whatever you want to call it there. I think it's wrapped. So uh, there's our number 18. But you can see the rivets on the bottom and then just little tiny specks. It's not super dirty, but it's noticeable. There's at least something there to see. Same thing on the hood. You'll see it's not perfectly clean. There's kind of some marks here. Again, not super heavy, but it's something. So it is a little detail, but I do always love every little detail. So that's kind of how that works. But uh, overall, I think it's a really great car. I think this is probably one of the top five Xfinity race wins uh, from this season. Um, I'm trying to think what other ones that are getting made. Obviously, John Hunter's is going to be a must-have. That thing's going to look awesome because of how he burned it down. Um, so that one's going to be a good one. I think this is probably 
maybe second to that. Um, I got to think of some other ones that might be coming out because uh, I think there's a good... Oh, yes, just Justin Algar's Martinsville one's easily going to be on there. So there's there's some really good ones that are going to be coming out. And um, like I said, though, I still think this will be a top five Xfinity win of this year by the time it's all said and done. So uh, anyway, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up the review, though. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out the website if you're looking for one of these. You can find it at rasdiecast.com. Other than that, thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze. We'll see you in the next one.